वेलकम हियर आर दी ट्वेंटी फाइव फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्क क्वेश्चन अबाउट कंप्यूटराइज सिस्टम वैलिडेशन दैट इज सी एस वी इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव कंटेंट वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज कंप्यूटराइज सिस्टम वैलिडेशन एज पर गैम फाइव डेफिनेशन इट इज अचीविंग एंड मेंटेनिंग कंप्लायंस विद एप्लीकेबल जी एक्स बी रेगुलेशन एंड द अडोप्शन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स अप्रोचेस एंड लाइफ साइकिल एक्टिविटीज विद इन द फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ वैलिडेशन प्लान एंड रिपोर्ट्स दिस इज वेरी बेसिक एंड मोस्ट फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्क क्वेश्चन वॉट इज कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एंड कंप्यूटराइज सिस्टम एज पर गैम फाइव कंप्यूटराइज सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ हार्डवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर एंड नेटवर्क कंपोनेंट्स टूगेदर विद द कंट्रोल फंक्शन एंड एसोसिएटेड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन बिलो इज द पिक्स गाइडलाइन रिप्रेजेंटेशन दैट विल क्लियर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एंड कंप्यूटराइज सिस्टम computer system is formed with software hardware and firmware whereas when it comes with the controlled functions or process like operating procedure and people along with equipment it will form computerized system when it is with the including other network and stand alone computerized systems or other systems media people equipment or procedures it will form a operating environment what is importance of gam5 in computer system validation full form of gam that is gmp is good automated manufacturing practices gam guidance aims to achieve computerized systems that are fit for intended use and meet current regulatory requirements by building upon existing industry good practice in an efficient and effective manner it is updated with the recent regulatory and industry developments including ics guidance q8 Q9 and Q10 US FDA PICS and ASTM E55 requirements What are the five software categories as per GAM5 category 1 operating system these includes infrastructure software operating systems middleware db manager etc second is firmware and currently firmware are no longer functionally distinguishable from the hardware third category is stand alone softwares this includes default configurable softwares fourth is configurable software packages and fifth is custom softwares what is the five step approach to risk management for computerized system as per gam5 it includes step 1 initial assessment step 2 identify functions with impact on patient safety product quality and data integrity step 3 perform functional risk assessment and identify controls step 4 implement and verify appropriate testing and controls step 5 review risk and monitor controls this is one more basic and frequently asked question who is system owner and process owner as per gam5 as per gam5 system owner is the person ultimately responsible for the availability support and maintenance of a system and for the security of data residing on that system this person is usually the head of the department responsible for system support and maintenance whereas in case of process owner ownership of the data held on the system should be defined and typically belongs to the process owner the persons ultimately responsible for the business process or processing being managed are process owners this person is usually the head of functional unit or department using that system here it is important to note that responsibility of a control of a system access should be agreed between the process owner and system owner in some cases the system owner also may be the process owner what are the two hardware categories category 1 standard hardware the majority of the hardware used by regulated companies will fall into this category standard hardware components should be documented including manufacturer or supplier details and version number whereas category 2 is custom build hardware these requirements are in addition to those of standard hardware components custom items of hardware should have a design specification and be subjected to acceptance testing what are the key concepts applied for computerized system there are five key concepts applied for computerized system first is product and process understanding second life cycle approach within qms third scalable life cycle activities fourth science based quality risk management and fifth is leveraging supplier involvement this one is very important question what are the life cycle phases of computerized system answer is there are four life cycle phases of computerized system first is 
कंसेप्ट फेज सेकंड प्रोजेक्ट फेज थर्ड ऑपरेशन फेज एंड फोर्थ इज रिटायरमेंट फेज वॉट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर बैकअप एंड रिस्टोर एज पर गैम फाइव बैकअप एंड रिस्टोर आर टू डिफरेंट कंसेप्ट बैकअप इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ कॉपिंग रिकॉर्ड्स डेटा एंड सॉफ्टवेयर टू प्रोटेक्ट अगेंस्ट लॉस ऑफ इंटीग्रिटी और अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ द ओरिजिनल वेयर एज रिस्टोर इज द सिक्वेंट रिस्टोरेशन ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स डेटा और सॉफ्टवेयर वेन रिक्वायर्ड प्रोसीजर शुड बी एस्टेब्लिश टू कवर रूटीन बैकअप ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स डेटा एंड सॉफ्टवेयर टू सेफ लोकेशन adequately separated from the primary storage location and at frequency based on the risk following information should be clearly and securely associated with the backup first creation date second system designation third software designation fourth version and current number fifth reason for backup sixth date of backup and identity of person taking backup what are the advantages of periodic evaluation of operational system Periodic evaluation after the system is operational will lead to improvement of the processes, controls, and overall risk strategy. The review should consider following: whether previously unrecognized risks are present, determine if previously identified hazards are still present, and if present, determine at what level they are present. Ascertain if the estimated risk associated with the hazard is no longer acceptable and evaluate whether all existing controls are still necessary what is security management security management is the process that ensures the confidentiality integrity and availability of an organization's regulated systems records and processes principles security management measures should be planned and implemented based on the consideration of the following principles principle 1 system impact second employee awareness third incident management and fourth information security policy what is patch and update management the appendix s4 of gam5 explains the compliance aspect to consider when planning security patches hot fixes or service pack upgrades there may be frequent need for such patches and updates for reasoning below first reason widely integrated and connected applications may be vulnerable on several levels to abuse and exploitation with malicious intent second complex softwares may be released with defects and third periodic software updates from suppliers appropriate management of patches and upgrades is particularly important to maintain compliance and fitness for the intended use of gxp regulated computerized systems what is periodic review of computerized systems as per gam5 periodic review are used throughout the operational life of computerized system to verify that it remains compliant with the regulatory requirements fit for intended use and satisfies company's policy and procedures review periods for specific system should be based on the system impact complexity and novelty periodic review procedure for computerized system includes defining policy and process for timing and scheduling prepare for review perform review document review and results and taking the necessary corrective actions if required what are the computerized system validation activities there are five major computerized system validation activities first planning here we prepare written validation plan second specification here we specify and agree what is required and perform design reviews third test planning iq oq and pq here we prepare document to describe how the equipment or system is to be tested fourth is testing iq oq and pq here we perform test and collect results and fifth is review here we review results to show that the system performs as specified report conclusion plus any reservations this one is very frequently asked question what are open systems and closed systems answer is the fda defines the closed system as one in which people responsible for management or electronic records are same ones that handle the network whereas an open system on other hand is one in which the individual responsible for electronic records do not control access to the system when we should perform gxp assessment in computer system validation in the concept or planning stage the requirements should be defined and gxp assessment must be done in testing phase there should be scope for change and its subsequent assessment during production or operational phase and potential for migration retention or destruction during the retirement the assessment should include a decision on whether the system is gxp regulated and 
include an overall assessment of the system impact who is sme or subject matter expert gam 5 describes sme or subject matter expert concept as those individuals with specific expertise in a particular area or field shall be called as sme or subject matter expert sme should take lead role in the verification of computerized systems sme responsibilities include planning and defining verification strategies defining acceptance criteria selection of appropriate test methods execution of verification test and reviewing results what is computerized system withdrawal computerized system withdrawal is removal of the system from active operations that is users are deactivated interfaces disabled no data should be added to the system from this point forward special access should be retained for the data reporting results analysis and support this one is very important question what should be covered in the vmp vmp should cover scope reference to the relevant policies organizational structure summary of facilities systems equipment and processes document format planning and scheduling change control and reference to existing documents next question what are the three options for supplier assessment there are three main options for performing supplier assessment first basic assessment based on the available information second postal audits using questionnaire and third is on site audit by relevant specialist auditors or audit team next question what should be covered in traceability matrix traceability matrix should cover urs reference system description gxp outcome functional specification reference design specification reference and test references that includes iq oq pq fat and sat what should be covered in the validation approach of category 3 softwares validation approach for category 3 standard software packages should include following first configuration limited to environment and parameters second iq verifies name and version third oq test as per user requirement and fourth supplier audit for critical applications what is v model as per gam 5 refer below schematic for understanding v model as per gam 5 it starts with planning then specification then configuration and coding then verification and lastly reporting from reporting it may go back to the planning phase and there will be a continuous support process including risk management throughout and the last question is do i need to validate computerized system answer is yes we need to validate computerized system to store electronic data and records for gxp process as per 21 cfr part 11 and u annexure paragraph 4 it is required to validate computerized systems